engineer who worked at NASA, I've had the privilege of meeting several astronauts and learning about their training regimens. We also have in the United States a federal regulation that talks about commercial space flight and suggests some things to do to better prepare. When I started my training journey in 2022, I wanted to experience high G's, and so I flew in fighter jets, I jumped out of planes, I did acrobatics. I wanted to understand what it would be like in case we lost pressure in the capsule, and so I went through hypoxia training. I also wanted to understand what it would be like to fall to Earth, and so from high, very fast zip lines in Dubai to jumping out of planes, I, I did that. And most importantly, I wanted to be able to train at six Gs so that I could approximate some of the most extreme forces I might experience on the flight. And so I trained at the only human rated centrifuge in North America called NASTAR, which coincidentally, Christine, the analog astronaut I hope gets flown, she also trained there. And she was there a couple of weeks before I was. So all these experiences together over the course of several years really allowed me to better prepare not only my body, but my mind for what I could expect to experience. So on the day when I sat in my seat, I felt very comfortable after having received Blue Origin Zone special training on their vehicle that I wasn't gonna experience anything that I wasn't prepared for.